I hope that you guys can maybe make heads or tails in sense of this update. Okay, are you guys ready? So, over the past two or weeks or so, we've been talking about doing an Amazon wish list. All right, and what this is, this wish list is, is basically a listing of the games that I'm interested in playing. And if someone wants to help, you know, defray the cost of streaming those games by purchasing said games for me so that I can just play them on the stream and not have to spend money to buy them. For example, you know, as you guys know, I've been trying to raise tips to help with bills and, and stuff. And it's kind of hard when I have to then drop hundreds of dollars on games, especially this month coming up. There's a lot of games coming out that I'm interested in, in playing for the streams, right? Um, so essentially... You know, some people expressed interest in maybe being able to help out with that and purchasing some of said games for the streams. And I said, okay, well, I would make maybe an Amazon wish list where I'll list the games that I'm interested in. And if people want to buy them and help out for the stream, they can. And then I'll just get those games digitally and I'll be able to have those games on release day. All right. So it took like two weeks for me to get a chance to look at, to work it, at this. And I finally worked on it last night. Now, there's some bad news. Okay. And then there's some confusion. So here's the bad news, everyone. What I determined, all right, is that essentially you can't really get games digitally for many consoles anymore via Amazon. It used to be a thing you could do all the time. Apparently now they've they've basically done away with it because I can't find pre-orders for digital codes for any of the new releases at all. Um, I don't know why. I guess they've just stopped this practice. In fact, I was looking... So so just so you guys know, in the month of July, the games I'm interested in, Stranger Things 3, uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, and <clears throat> Wolfenstein Youngblood. So I looked all those games up on Amazon, and the only game that I could find that you could get a digital code was Dragon Quest Builders 2, and it was only the Switch version of the game. The other versions were not capable of getting a digital code for them at all okay <clears throat> so i don't know what's up with that um but i know for a fact you used to be able to get digital codes for all these games and now apparently they're all gone so what essentially i did i created a wish list on amazon now i've never done this before so i don't even know if i did it right okay essentially i created a wish list on amazon by which um i listed Dragon Quest Builders 2 for the Switch because it's a digital code version. I figured, you know what? I barely use my Switch for anything. That would be maybe a fun a fun ongoing playthrough. I could actually use my Switch for something and get some use out of it um, rather than just sitting and collecting dust. So I said, that's fine. Plus, it's a game that's not going to be... Um, it's not going to be a game that, like, you know, oh my god, we need the absolutely most graphically intense version of the game, right? Who cares? It's, it's Dragon Quest with cartoony graphics. We're not looking for cutting-edge technology graphics, you know? I don't need the PS4 Pro to play Dragon Quest Builders 2, right? So there you go. So anyway, um, so I put that game on the list, and then essentially what I did is I went through, and I put a bunch of Sony PlayStation Network credit gift cards as well as Nintendo Network gift cards on that listing, okay? And I think I did just all the nominations that were available. There's like $100, $75, $50, 20 10 You know, basically I made it so that there's enough stuff on the list that if anyone just wants to contribute a little or a lot, they'd be able to. You know, I don't want it to only put a $100 gift card on there and then if someone wanted to contribute like $10, they wouldn't be able to. You see what I mean? So basically I made this wish list of all this stuff and I made it so that only you can only see it. You can't edit it. You can only see it. That was one of the key things is that I know when you make a wish list, you can accidentally make it that everyone can edit it. Um, so I made it so only I can edit it. And I created a little panel here on my Twitch page for it. And I was like, okay, I'll talk about it on stream tomorrow. Okay. So this morning I'm setting up the stream and I'm like, oh, guys, guess what? There's a wish list. I'm going to talk about it. And everyone's like, yeah, we see the link on your page, but it's empty. I was like, it's empty? What do you mean it's empty? And I went to it, and lo and behold, it was empty. I'm like, why is this list completely empty? I just made it last night. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on here. Um, So I tried to figure it out, and I couldn't. So I started re-adding all the stuff. All right. And then what I noticed was that some of the stuff that was already on the list said already purchased. I was like, what? So... 
I went into, there's an option section for the wish list on Amazon where you can manage the list. And there was an option clicked that said, keep me surprised. Do not notify me for like several weeks after someone buys something on my wish list. Keep me surprised and then pleasantly surprise me weeks later so that I, you know, I won't know that someone bought me something, but it's like a surprise gift. I was like, why is that auto checked? Right? Like, that's pretty stupid. Like, I want to know, obviously, when someone buys something, that is really dumb. Or else, what might happen is multiple people might buy me the same thing, right? You know, I don't want five people buying me Dragon Quest Builders 2 on the Switch, and I have four codes, you know. What a waste of of funds when people could could be using it for other stuff, right? So, basically, I'm looking around. so, So, I uncheck this box that says, keep me surprised. And immediately it tells me, apparently, everything that I put on my wish list last night has already been purchased for me. We're talking hundreds of dollars of both Nintendo and PlayStation Network credit and Dragon Quest Builders 2. And I'm like, whoa, holy crap, is that true? Did that actually happen? If it did, that's pretty damned awesome, right? But here's the thing, guys, and I, you guys obviously know better than me, how Amazon wishlist works. This is the first time I've ever touched one. I have no idea how to access any of that. Like, I didn't get... because Because it said, surprise me, I got no notification whatsoever about any of those products that were purchased. I got no emails about it. I don't see anywhere in my Amazon account how to access anything. (laughs) So, I don't know what's going on. Like, if someone did, if if someone did buy all that, I mean, great, thank you very much, that's amazing, because what that'll essentially do, if you did actually buy all those, all that credit, that's gonna pay for probably all the games this month, because July is a busy month, like I said, we got Stranger Things, Dragon Quest Builders 2, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, and Wolfenstein Youngblood, those are the four games at a minimum I'm playing, maybe I'll play a few other things too, but those are the things on a minimum. That I was that I was interested in. So essentially, if someone, if a good Samaritan did go in there overnight and said, "Wow, let's just help Phil," and bought all that stuff, that's amazing. But I have no idea how to get it. <laughs> I'm serious. Like I, I didn't get any emails about it. And when you go into the Amazon account, I can't. Fi- There's like no, oh, items that were purchased for you from your wish list that doesn't exist. So I have absolutely no idea. How that works. <laughs> yeah. I mean, essentially, the way I thought it would work is someone would buy it and then immediately be like, okay, here's the code. Use it, right? But right now, I got nothing. And again, I think it was because I, it was set to surprise me or whatever. So essentially, right now, I got absolutely nothing out of it. Maybe in like two to three weeks, I may get a message from Amazon. Oh, by the way... um, Someone bought you all this stuff. Here's all the information and the codes and stuff. But I <laughs> I don't know how to get it. Like, why? Why? Who on earth thought it was a good idea to make a wish list? Oh, surprise me. Don't tell me when someone actually gets me something. What? <laughs> I mean, how? that could be one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. Like, I, and I don't know. I seriously have no idea how this works um so again if you guys have if anyone has ever used an amazon wishlist before and knows anything about this i'm all ears i have no idea what's going on like i said i didn't get any i I don't even know where to look there's no section um there's no section whatsoever on amazon to see things people have bought for you and how to access said content what i'm assuming is that what if you if they're gonna send me an email for each item and say oh someone bought this for you here's the digital code to use but if it said surprise me does that mean i won't get those codes for weeks you know i have no idea <clears throat> um i guess i don't even know if there's a way to find out some people are suggesting calling them i mean i guess i could do that but the thing is on amazon to contact their customer service you have to tie it to an order i don't have an order there's no order to, to, it's all automated through their site. I don't know if how many of you use Amazon or not. Um, but basically, in order to contact their customer support, you need to basically have like an order 
that you click on and say, okay, I want to talk to support about this order. You can't just call their customer service. There's no general, like, line to just call them about stuff. You have to have it tied into an order through your site. So I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> oh, here we go. People are saying codes will show up in your digital library on your account. Okay, hold on a second. If that is the case, let me try to figure this out. Let me go over. I'm going to go over to my computer and take a look. Give me a second, guys. All right, so I found it, supposedly. All right, but it doesn't ex It's Nothing's there. So I found it. There's a section that says, like, your digital library of, of orders and game codes that you that you have. There's nothing there. It's it's old stuff that I've done, like, years ago. Like, years ago, I bought a few digital PSN codes. There's one point when PSN was glitching out and wouldn't let me pay for anything through the console, so I had to buy a bunch of cards through Amazon to do it, to buy the games. That was a pain in the ass because that was during the hardcore gaming season, too. It was really stupid. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, it's there, and it basically shows... Ah! Ah. It basically shows um, the stuff I've already bought, but not the stuff that anyone might buy for me, right? Golden Cold says, I don't think your Amazon wishlist has a delivery address. Uh, I don't think you, it asks you for one. <laughs> I don't think it actually asks you for a delivery address. Plus, everything there is digital anyway, you know? So anyway, I have no idea how this works, guys. Um, At this point... Essentially, I have no idea what's going on with this list. Um, what I, what I, here's what I'm curious about. If someone were to buy something now, because I did not set it as, oh, surprise me. So if someone were to buy something off the wish list now, would I actually get it immediately? I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Oh, okay. Now Sleepy Reader says, there's a section under digital content and devices called digital gifts you received. Check there. All right. Oh, my God. Nope. It's empty. It's completely empty, that section. So, essentially, I don't know how this works. You got a wish list. Someone could buy the item on the wish list and you never get it. I don't understand this at all. Because it claimed... Yeah, it claimed that someone has bought all the stuff on the list as of last night. It says, last purchase, June 30th. Yet, I don't have it. <laughs> See what I mean? This is fucking stupid. I'm sorry. It is, is. Like, people suggest things to me all the time. And I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that. I don't think that makes sense to do that. It, you know. And then I finally say, okay, I'll cave. After years of people saying you should do an Amazon wish list, I'll do it. It's the most complicated fucking thing. Why isn't it simple? Why can't you just do it? And it you know, no. It has to be super complicated. <sighs> what the fuck, man? I'm so tired of this dumb shit. See, I don't... Here's the thing. Here's why I'm frustrated. Because everyone always tells me, Oh, you're a dinosaur, Phil, and you don't use the things that other people, other content creators use. You should change the way you capture and learn a new way to do it. And you should use this Amazon wish list to get your games for your streams. You should do this and this. And when I go to do it, it's never easy. It's never actually worked. I'm not even kidding you. Every time I try to adapt to something new or use something new, it never works. And then I end up having a ton of fucking extra work for something, you know what I mean? And this happens every fucking time. I'm not, this is not an exaggeration. Every time I try to, oh, do something different, Phil. Try something different and new that everyone else does. You're, you know, you're, you're behind the times. Okay, everyone says it's easy, I'll do it. Oh, look, for me, it's the most complicated thing on the planet. It just doesn't fucking work at all, right? There's no way anything can get sent to my address because you're t these are digital codes. How can you mail me a digital code? You know, it's digital. They would be sending it directly to me. It doesn't make any sense. All right, guys, so I added a delivery address, all right? All I did is I selected my address, which everyone knows my address is public knowledge, so it's not like it's a big deal that there's a delivery address in there or whatever. The thing is that everything's listed there is digital. By the way, when I refreshed, now my entire list claims everything's been purchased. I even added, just, just before I started the stream today, I added a bunch of Xbox Live credit, you know, codes, and now those are claiming those were also purchased for me as well. So here's what I honestly think, guys. I think it's horseshit. I think that this system doesn't really work. I think what it is is trolls can go in there and pretend like they're going to buy it and say maybe maybe you could say, oh, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna buy this at a future date and you know and process this in in four weeks or something, and then they, it doesn't actually go through. So I think that's what it was. Is it's a way to troll the list. Why is everyone now doing question marks in the stream chat? 
What does that mean? It means that basically you could say, oh, okay, I've marked this. I'm going to buy this for Phil. And I'm, I'll, purchase, I'll purchase this in two weeks, you know. Uh, and then it basically t it said it claims like you bought it, but you didn't. I think that's what happened is someone went in there. I mean, essentially, if that's the case, what's the point of doing this? Because the, tr the trolls could go in there and pretend like they bought it a hundred times and I still never get it, right? I guess the, the, the bottom line is uh, it's not that big of a deal because now I set it up so that when the items don't ever re get removed from the list, they'll show there forever. So even if someone puts in a thousand times, oh, I bought it, and then they don't really, the item will still stay listed, right? Yeah, see, dude froze it. I don't know how it works. Did someone buy the stuff or not? I don't think so. I think it was a trolling. I think it was trolling. I think it was, I don't, I don't think anyone has legitimately bought it. Here, let me put it this way. The only way we'll ever know if this will ever work is if someone, you know, who I know actually says, okay, I'm going to try to buy the lowest uh, thing, you know, I'll buy the $10 gift card and then let me know if you get it, right? I think that's the only way we'll ever know if this actually works or not. So anyway, that's what I mean. Look at all this trouble. So here we are talking about this for 20 minutes on the pre-stream today. Uh, something that, sh that everyone thought was easy and should have taken five seconds. Instead, we sit here for a million years talking about it. So I did create an Amazon wish list. I have no idea if it works or not. I've gotten no no information from Amazon whatsoever, even though it claims things have been bought for me. I don't I think it's bullshit. I think someone found a way to troll it. And uh I guess we'll go from there. I don't know what else to say, right? Uh beefsteak tomato, as I've said a million times, there's no way I can call Amazon about it because you cannot call them for a general reason. You have to have it tied to an order or a reason. There's no oh, just contact us via this number. It's like, no, you have to have information about what you're calling for and to go to the right department and stuff. You, it's not like you're calling a physical business. All they have are call centers all around the world. I hate to tell you. <laughs> Who knows? It's stu Like I said, it's stupid. It's something that you, everyone tells me is easy and it should work immediately and it's a no-brainer and you should do it and all the other streamers do it and it would defray costs and it's a really good idea and I do it and it doesn't work. So what else is new for me, right? Everything's like pulling teeth. Anytime I try to improve or change... It's like pulling teeth, right? And anyway, just so you guys know, like I said, I have been checking my emails and I've gotten zero notifications from anyone or from anything on you, uh, Amazon. So like I said, apparently with these wish lists, you can claim you're going to buy stuff and then you don't. Oh, this was already purchased and then it wasn't. I mean, how stupid is that? Make a wish list. Oh, this says it was already purchased and no one actually purchased it. Why does nothing have like, no nothing has troll protections at all? You notice that? You know what it is? They're in the real world. The real world of business and the real world of finance has like nothing to prepare them for trolling, for people to fuck around. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> what a fucking mess. I might as well just delete the fucking Amazon wish list and say fuck it. Seriously, what's the point? See what I mean? Like. It's just, it, it just being very on. Now you can see my face. It's so frustrating. I'm so tired of like everyone tells me something so easy and you should just do it. Oh, Phil, Amazon wishlist is easy. You should have done this two, three years ago. You should have done it as soon as you started streaming. All streamers get all their stuff gifted to them by their viewers and no one pays for any of their stuff. You should just easily do it. It's such an easy thing to do. F immediately, as error after error after fuck up after error. And now we can't figure it out. Oh, call them. Oh, so now what I should do is I should take time away from all the personal shit I need to do behind the scenes of my stream to call some fucking customer service line that's going to route me to India or the Middle East, someone who has no idea what the fuck I'm talking about, and spend an hour on the phone with them and get nothing resolved. That's what I should do. Uh-huh. How about no? How about fuck no? <laughs> Seriously. How about I should have just fucking known better and I should have followed my own instincts and not even bothered with this? Because we all know that's a fucking pain. Everything I do has to be a pain in my ass. Nothing could just be easy and simple and just fucking work. <clears throat> Seriously. What a pain in the ass, man. <laughs> no, it's not a lot of assumptions. I've done it before. I've, I've talked to Amazon many times on the phone for customer service things. And it's, you, you need, like I said, you need to have an order tied to your phone call or else you might as well not have even called. When you call Amazon, usually what happens is if you have an issue with an order, let's say you got an order and the item was broken or it's the wrong order, you go to your Amazon order history and right there it says contact us and it'll actually have a call rooted to a call center somewhere with all your data attached to it and then they can figure it out. 
if you just call the general line, you'll bounce around their system for fucking an hour before you even figure out anyone who knows anything, and no one's going to help me with this wish list. I just know it. So, <laughs> it's just a pain in the ass. Like, why can't I just make the... Here's the wish list. Here's the things I would like. Buy it easy. Done. No. Oh, you need a shipping address, even though it's digital. Oh, the quantities are, are, are set to a thing, and that screws it up. Oh, someone could say they bought it, but then it doesn't actually fucking buy it. Fuck this. Like, what the fuck? Fu enough of this. No, you know? What a complete waste of my time. I shouldn't even bother with it. I shouldn't even just fucking bother with it. Very frustrating, man. I just want us to play games and have fun. I don't want to deal with all this nonsense. Yeah, I'm going to spend... So, here, let me give you guys an example. When I'm done streaming today, I'm going to upload videos... Kat and I have to get food, and we have a bunch of stuff we have to do around the house in the, in the little bit of time that we have between streams. All right. Then I got to stream again tonight. Then it's late night. Oh, call Amazon. When the fuck do I call Amazon? <laughs> I have a full life. I have a full life. Everything's busy. I don't have time for fucking bullshit with Amazon. <laughs> I don't want to do a live Amazon call. I want to play games and have fun. That's the whole point I'm trying to make here. I don't want to deal with all this fucking bullshit. All this nonsense. I just want to have fun. Fried turkey wings took me a dollar. And he says, why would a business plan for trolls? Uh, let's see, because you're in the modern era. And you realize that any business could be used against someone for malicious purposes. So instead of allowing yourself to be completely open to trolling without preparing for the modern world, you actually, like, fucking prepare for it. You know, like, any responsible business future-proofing instead of living tw 20 years in the fucking past... Um, Miley Cyrus tipped me a dollar. Why are you Why are you giving it to your fans for doing the Amazon wish list? I'm not giving it to my fans. What I'm saying is, and this is what I hope people take heart, all right? Understand that not everything is as easy as people say. Years ago, people told me, "What, Phil, why don't you use this thing called, like, shadow capture or shadow something to capture your videos to reduce your file size dramatically, and it's what everyone uses. I went to do it. Didn't work. All the videos looked like shit. The videos came out super huge. It was annoying. And I spent hours trying to figure this out to the point I said, fuck this, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm just going back to what I used to do, which worked. Um, every time someone makes one of these suggestions, this happens. This is not an exaggeration. Every time someone's like, Phil, just do this thing that's super easy. It's, bu it's bullshit. Basically, they're all tough. They're all annoying. They're all pain in the ass. And if I had unlimited time, if I didn't have a crazy busy life, maybe I would have time to adapt to a lot of this stuff and do some of it. I just don't. I just like to play games and have fun. This is all I've ever wanted to do since day one when I made a video on YouTube is play games and have fun and share that with you guys. That's all I care about. So when all this shit, you know, I spent 30 minutes on a pre-stream talking about stupid Amazon wishlist not working. I don't fucking care. About, like, I don't want to deal with this shit. I just want to fucking get to the game and play games and have fun. Okay?